All right, here we are, The Abyss, Cycle 5. After a pretty poor showing in Paradise Lost, where I was down to one health and was able to climb back to four health, which is where I should be now, we're going to see if we can't make a recovery here in The Abyss. Wish me luck. Let's see how it turns out. All right, as you can see, we're on four health. I have a full quiver of Tempest, a full quiver of Cat 3, half a quiver of Cat 5, a little more than half a quiver of Wrath of God. Pretty good arrow selection there. Current score is 2.4 mil. Uh, let's go. No beating around the bush. By the way, I did uh, get to play quite a bit this week. Uh, I was ramping up my other profile just in case I died on this one, which I still may. But my aim is going to be... Sorry, warming up my warming up my hand uh, controller. Oh, look, got a Blood of the Lamb right off the bat. Very nice. There'll be a Cupid here. We're going to alert some archers up above, and they'll come. Can you tell my accuracy is a little bit better? Got two. All right, we are on our way. Now, there's going to be an archer on that side, I mean a knight on that side on the top. So let's climb up here, face him down. It's a white knight, no big whoop. Hi. The swords are staring off into space. No big whoop. Let's take out the guys on the ground. Should be okay. So through that door is going to be a couple of a bombs and some cupids and a lot of stuff on the ground. I tend to like to come up here and deal with these guys from above because the knights I don't have to deal with, and I can just pepper down the archers. And when the, the knights show up, I can shoot. You know, work on them a little bit. And remember, one of the other things is, if if you don't like how that's going down with uh, the archers there, you can always pop up here, they'll come after you. Uh, but we have to remember, we cannot take any risks, because we're taking two damage per hit, right? Shot him in the knee. There we go. So, a little bit of patience. Now, this next building we're going into, the hardest building in the game, in my opinion. So, we'll have to take this very, very slowly. Now, it's going to be some... Well, we got the Cupids. There's going to be... A bomb. We might have cleared everything out around here. Let's take a peek. It's fine. 
Okay, what do we have right here? We have a safe space. Okay, we have a shield. And we have the ability to move in and out. What I will do is, I will work my magic, try to do as much damage, as much stuff as possible, and then the stuff that teleports will invite them to play. Oof, that's a lot. Okay. Oh. I wasn't expecting everything to come visit. So I'm doing a lot of body shots here just to keep them from firing at me. Hi. Okay, we're fine. So I was alternating between between bad guys, just keeping them from shooting at me and burn, you know, burning them down over time. But we cleared out a lot of stuff. That was a very aggressive thing on their part. Normally, I would have just pulled those two skeleton knights and it would have been fine. But man, everything came along with them. But what that means is, you know, we, we've cleared at least the entrance. There's like liable to be a couple of A-bombs. There's a skull and there's going to be a cupid in that courtyard. We're going to pop in here, though. Hi. You were coming after me before I was even here. There's the cupid. Okay, there's the skull. Another cupid. And I think, yeah, the witch is already done now. What? We have a couple options. We can start getting the attention of those guys, or we can start getting the attention of those guys. What is that? Wildfire. Mm. So I'm going to get their attention and then go up here. Because I can. Remember, we have a safe space. Never worry about retreating to your safe space. Nobody's going to judge you for that. Matter of fact, they may judge you if you don't. Now, I've got a red knight that kind of disappeared right there. Don't forget, I do have three cataclysm threes. Or, you know, a quiver full of cataclysm threes. Should not be afraid to use them. Did he die? Nope, look at that. Oh, I had five of those explosives on him. Draw, throw an arrow right down that hallway, and again. So there's archers there. There we go. That's what we wanted. Good. We're gonna get knights. Jump down again. The good news is we can jump up here. There's no lava here. That's always one of the fears about jumping back is if you have the chance of jumping into lava. That's a bad, bad thing. Okay, we've got another archer there. A red archer. And we hit him. It should have been enough to get his attention. Unless he totally, here he comes. So he shoots those laser shots. We can't uh, we can't risk getting hit by those. Okay, he's already given up. All right, uh, let's see. I want to maybe go up here because he can't see me, but I can see all these guys. <laughs> That's always a fun thing. That's not. Okay, that's that's a bad thing. So that was two damage. That guy jumped up there. I had no indication he was there. There we go. Gotta watch. Those guys are tricky. And they're very aggressive. I mean, he came after me like nothing. So. That was, uh... Maybe not the smartest thing to do. Okay. I 
think we got all of those. And that's the other Cupid. Let's kind of go over here this hallway. There may be a knight here. There may be definitely going to be an A-bomb. The idea is to pull these guys without shooting an arrow into the next room and alerting everything else that's there. Mad that I took that hit. Okay. All right. Now. I intentionally face pulled those guys. Just want to make sure one didn't sneak up behind me. So we've got one more there. I want to face pull him. We've got two archers, one of which is the red archers. Those are the ones that are really tough with their laser fire. You can't, it's difficult to sort of line of sight them with, uh, when, you know, when there's no arc to the shot. All right, I want to get, okay, let's just go for it. Okay, we got the white archer pretty handily. There we go. All right. We'll get these guys coming. One of them's got a shield. I don't have... I don't have any winner's bite, so let's just burn them down. Why not? Okay, now we have... Attention to nice. And we've got a Cupid over there as well. Keep the, keep the line of sight. Cataclysm 5. Hello. Are you kidding me? How did that not kill that guy? Okay, I, I can't explain that. But he's now dead. All right, <clears throat> I'm gonna burn the rest of these cat threes. Doesn't look like we have the pit in this particular. I do hear an orphan though. Okay, she's over there. need to get out of here. Alright, that's good. Got the orphan. Right, now, do we have anything else here? Nope. Alright, so we got some stuff over there. No big whoop. We have some stuff across. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> oh lord. Alright. So we have some stuff over here. Goodness. Thank goodness for her aggressiveness. There's another Cupid down there too. I just wanted to move out of line of sight since it hadn't targeted me yet. Now I've got my Tempest. Did want to work on that. And now we can just casually take out these guys over here. There's going to be a couple archers over there. But we'll take out all the knights first. Alright, there'll be some abominations. 
and there will be archers. Killed the one, there's the red one. Alright, he's gone. Watch out for the knife axe. Right, this building should be done, but I want to see what that was that dropped. Ricochet Cataclysm 2. Uncontrollable. Alright. So, what do we have? That is an archer, a black archer. We have some cupids and a brown archer. Right, so I'm done with the cat threes, so I'm going to pick up my cat fives. Are they back here? That's always the problem with passing stuff up and coming back for it is remembering exactly where you left it. That is done. We're going to approach this other building from this building. Alright, there's a Cupid. There's an Archer. I'm going to go to the roof. Oh, god dang it. That goddamn skeleton. So I'm down to two health now. Okay, so I'm using this building as a shield. And I'll pop it out and in. They usually fire three times and then forget about you. Archer's dead. Okay, that's all the archers. Alright. That should be... Oh, got one more knight right there. Oh, two knights. Did I pick up a one-hand fight? No. Not terrible after all that would it be to get snuck up on by an A-bomb and killed. Alright. So we have the uh, cathedral and maybe we'll pick up some blood in the store. Alright. Well, we can start getting some attention here. That's right, that was the winner's bike down there. Well, I don't want to replace... I mean, if I replace something, I would replace... And I may go ahead and do that. This Cat 5 after we're done with these guys. Maybe I'll use it on them. I don't really need to. here. I also believe we're going to end up with some archers. I did hear them. I'm a little concerned just because I just want to get in a place where I know I'm not going to be snuck up on very easily. I want to keep my eyes open if any archers decide they want to show up.
right, so we have a laser monk. I'm just going to burn him down. All right. All right, so we're still going to have the two guys on either side here on the shelves. Yeah, so what I did was line of sight is keep my eye out for the other one. Two on the other side. All right, that is that. Now we'll get through here really quickly and hopefully get down to the store. Yeah, so usually there's three of those. All right, to the store. Oh wait, there was a knight. There he was. That is, I was going to say, oftentimes there's a knight there as well. So we're in a perfectly safe place. We could have just gone on, but we'll take the place. Alright, let's go get some health. one. Well, so with that part finished, we are now one up from where we started. So that is constructive. Let's try to be a little better in this second half and maybe not take any. All right. I already see where we're going with this one. The first thing we're going to do is head to that rock on the left and take out that archer over there. trying to do was keep rain and body shots and occasionally get a headshot if I could manage it. But the important thing was to make sure he didn't shoot at me. If they can't shoot at you, they can't hit you. Alright, so we got a lot of cupids coming up, so I'm gonna use a lot of tempests here just because I don't want to risk being in this area with all these cupids. Because they can fire stuff from anywhere. And that would be that. Okay, now, oh, I thought I just saw, oh, that's an arrow just went over my head. Hi. That's fine. All right, so the next thing I do is I go take out that archer down there, and then I come back and start down this path here. So let's go take out this brown archer on the right. Basically, that ends this whole building. Okay, and we'll go back up here. Sometimes there's eight bombs hiding in the dark in here, so you, we have to be careful. go down there next. Let me go down there. I'm going here. Okay, so I'm a little concerned. I want I want to go ahead and take out those uh, cupids. I'm already dealing with a couple archers here, and I don't want to have to deal with the cupids along with them. Okay. Uh, there's our. I don't have anything to get her with. There's our. Um, orphan right up there. Well, let's see what we can do. Wrath. Um, I'm going to take the Cupid's Wrath and replace my other Cataclysm 5 with that. 
Oh, uh, was it worth it? I don't know. It's points. Points I wouldn't have got if I weren't that aggressive. I'm down to three health. Alright, we're going to go ahead and go on in this building. Okay. There's going to be at least one more, maybe two more archers right here. Sure would like to get a quiver before going into the pit so that I can be guaranteed to get that cupid down there because I don't want to blow all my good arrows. trying to shoot my cupids wrath at those cupids and I did not hit them but I have cleared off that side all right let's uh shit <laughs> hello everybody we really can't let anybody get behind us Cupids are. They should not have lingered too long where they were. I'm surprised, actually. Maybe they weren't as surprised as I was. Well, we survived that. That's important. I, I want to get down there. There's a summoner down there. And he may drop a blood of the lamb. That often happens. So let's go see if we can't. Uh, Oh, lightning three. Um, something else saw me. I don't know what. Oh, that archer there. Oh. All of lightning three, huh? So I'm going to fire off. The rest of my okay so I know where the I know where the pit is it's on the other side of this wall here I'm gonna fire off my the trap I know he didn't die but I don't want to burn them all on him actually expecting the pit to be up there. No pit. That is astonishing. All right, well, let's finish this run then. And we will continue to go pitless. Maybe that's not a bad thing. I would like to have... ...gotten the points. If that's just not going to be, then it's not going to be. Trying not to use up my specialty arrows. I'm gonna need I've got tempest and uh, ball of lightning three, which are both going to be perfectly what I need to finish this up. All right. 
What is that? Wildfire 5? Shot in on me. Cat fives. Well, at least let's use these fourteen here. Turn my back to the courtyard. I don't know what's all left. We have a knight left. We'll be a little patient. We're going to get one health from Asmodeus, so that's helpful. Let's see if we can survive with one health. Alright, none of this do I need. Terrible, terrible stuff. Alright, let's uh, go on and take on Asmodeus with our one health. No, we'll have two, maybe three, possibly, because we're going to get the one when we enter the zone. But even so, two health is really the same as one health. Huh. This is something that I've seen when I have been in need a few times, is oftentimes there's something outside of the zone outside of the boss zone. And it is a quiver. Uh, well, guess what? Oh, shit. Hold on. I'm going to need it for the horns. Let's go ahead and do that. I would have loved to have done a Wrath of God there, but I didn't realize I used up all my Cat 5s. So, let's do this. So we virtually have one hit left. Let's do this. Now, we 
can't afford to be stingy with any of our arrows, so we're going to be proactive with some of these. break and I do have I believe enough to where we're going to be okay finishing this off. I want to save the Tempests for the um, Cupids at the very end. jump on this shelf and go ahead and use, uh, use some Cat 5s to take these out. Normally I would use the Tempest or Wrath of God, but I just, I mean, I have no opportunities for mistakes. Okay, that guy's dead. That guy is not dead. Okay, I need him dead. I don't really care about him, but I'm going to hit him a couple of times. I do want these all up here. Maneuver around his fireballs. Okay. I actually think we're doing alright. Tempest for the Cupids. Remember that there is going to be fireballs coming from him. There'll be one more batch of Cupids that pop up here. Remember the fireball. Be aware of the Net minus of two health. Maybe we'll get some more health here before we start. There we go. Got two for that. So we are, are finishing with a net loss gain of zero. We have exactly the same amount of health we came in with. Did not get to do a pit. I don't know what's up with that. But here we are on Purgatory 6. We started with 2.4 mil. We've got 2.57 mil now. Um, I guess that's it. The Abyss 5. That was a little bit of an uh, exciting run. Uh, the, the lack of health made it a little bit more intense, but I think we did okay. Uh, on that note, we'll see how we'll do on Purgatory 6, starting with 4 health only. Uh, who knows? But that'll be saved for next time. All right, well, we'll see you guys later.